Problem three, finding the ortho center. As we said before, what is the ortho center? The ortho center, it is a line that is starting from the vertex perpendicular to the opposite side of a triangle. Now, in this, is, in this problem, we are going to find the coordinates of the ortho center. The triangle ABC has a vertices A, 1, 3. So here, we have at point 1, 3, we have point A. And at point two, seven, we have point B. And at point six, three, we have point C. So let's now connect between these three parts or these three points in order to find my triangle. A. B and C. Now, and let's remember here that the coordinates of A is one to three. The coordinates of B is two, seven. And the coordinate of C is 6, 3. Now, what do I need to find? I need to find the coordinates of the orthocenter of ABC. Now, as I told you before, in order to find the orthocenter, I need to draw a line that is perpendicular from the vertex to the, oh, that's starting from the vertex perpendicular on the side. So the first one will be this one here. The second one, like this. And the third one, it's like this. It's supposed to be perpendicular, so it's like this. So I draw now a line so that is starting from the vertex perpendicular on the, on the opposite side. Okay, now what I need to find, I need to find the, this one here. This is the ortho center. I need to find now its coordinate. Now, in order to find its coordinates here, as we know before, the coordinates must be X and Y. So I need to find the both of X and Y. Now then, from here, since B is perpendicular, Oh, the, the, sorry, the line is starting from the vertex B, perpendicular, so it comes like horizontally. So can I find the value of X? Yes, miss. What is the value of X here? Two. two, bravo. It will be at two. Look at B, as I told you before. Miss, please, all of you focus with me. I will not repeat. Okay, focus with me. If you didn't understand any point, tell me. So here, from B, as you see, we draw a line. So where's B? B at point two. So the point X will be two. This is the first thing that I need. What did I need now? I need to find Y now. Now, in order to find Y here, La. What can I do? La. From the graph, since my graph is correct, it will be at 2, 4. But at the exam, or if you have a uh, paper, it's not a mathematical paper, you need to find the coordinates. How? What do you need to find? So let's clear this one. As we know, don't know its coordinate. So what do we need to do now? Here, in order to find the point, what do we need? We need to find an equation. So in order to find y, we need an equation. 
Which equation? We need an equation that's, as you remember it before, y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1. This is the equation that we need it. Since this is aligned here, so the equation can help me the slope of the equation that we bring, the linear equation that we bring it from the slope. Now, here, I need the equation. So I have it now here. So what do I need to fill the equation? I need y1, x1, and the slope. Since I'm starting from point A, this line, that I want to use it, OK? The first one, I use it to find x. I will use the second one to find y. Since I use this line, so I will use the points of A, or the coordinates of A. What are the coordinates of A here? 1 and 3. So one I will put. Instead of x, hala, instead of x1, I will put 1. And instead of y1, I will put 3. So here we have 1, and here we have 3. I put the coordinates of A because my line or my uh, median starting from point A. My altitude, sorry, starting from point A. So I will use the coordinates of point A. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. Now, what did I need now? I need a slope. To find the slope, how can we find the slope? We need two points. OK, I was, so we need two coordinates. I, I need the slope of the. The blue mean the blue altitude. Do you see it? This one A. This one here. I need its altitude. I let's color it with another color. I need the slope of this line, the green one. But I cannot because I don't have the coordinates of this point. So what can I do? I will use the me the slope of BC. Then, BC is perpendicular on the median A. And the yani BC and the green line are perpendicular. So if they are perpendicular, so the slope of the first line multiplied by the slope of the second line will be what? If they are perpendicular, so the product of the two slope will be equal what? Negative one. If two lines are perpendicular, so the product of their slopes will be negative one. And if two lines are parallel, the product of their slopes will be one. So this, in this case, if they are perpendicular, if they are parallel, the slope or the product of the slopes will be one. Is it clear? It yes. Is here one multiply and two. And the slope of B multiply the slope of C. I the slope of this line here, BC, as you see it now, multiplying by the slope of this line. Right, let's color them in order to understand. So the slope of the blue one multiply by the slope Multiplying by the slope of the this color is not too bad. Of the pink one, their slope is negative one. 
So since they are perpendicular, so their slope will be negative one. Fine. And what did I need, Anna? I need to find M2, which is the slope of the blue one. In order to find the slope of M2, I will divide, or I, will, I need to find M1. Because if you have, as you see here, negative one divided by M1 will be M2. So what do I need? I need to find the slope of the blue line. In order to find it, I need to divide negative one over M1. So in order to find M2, I need to find M1. Yeah, let's find M1 here. To find the slope, it is the difference of the Y over the difference of the X. Now, where is the Y here? Seven and... Um, let's clear this one here. So they are seven and three. Seven minus three over two minus six. Is it right? Yes, a grade eight. Teacher, from where you okay, seven minus three and two minus six? Yes. This y minus this y over the value of x minus the value of x, which is four over negative four, so which is negative one. So what is this negative one? It is m1. But what did I need? I need here to point m2. So m2 will be negative one over negative one. And a negative one, which is, since they are perpendicular, and M1, which is the value that I found it now. So M2 will be what? One. One, negative one over negative one, which is one. So then here, I have the value of M2. which is one. Then y minus three is x minus one. Plus three, plus three. So y will be x plus two. So what, what did I find now? I found the equation. This equation now, it's helped me to find the value of y. From the beginning here, we say that x is two. So y will be two. I will evaluate in the equation. What is the value of x? It's two plus two is four. So the value of y will be four. So the coordinates of the ortho center here is two, four. So I would sorry. Oh. Yes, teacher, yes. Completeness, sorry. Uh, no, no problem. If you want, if you have any question, ask me. Teacher, you know, all this thing we made to find Y, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. So here I need to find X and Y, in all which are the coordinates of the ortho center. And after I uh, because, uh, as we know, the ortho center is an altitude of uh, a line that is starting from the vertex perpendicular on the opposite side. So I will draw them in order to find where is my coordinates. Hello, since B is has a line that is horizontal, oh, that's a vertical line. Sorry, and that's cut. Oh, that's at cut point two. So the value of x will be two. But what did I need? I need y. What can I do? I will you I will need uh, since I don't I cannot find it from the coordinates here or from the sheet, the sheet, I need an equation. 
And since we have, we are talking about lines, we don't talk about the quadratic, we, don't, we are not talking about uh, the other lines. This is on linear lines. So the linear equation that helped me, y minus y1 equal the slope times x minus x1. So what did I need to find? I need to find the slope. And I need y1 and x1. The which coordinates I want to use, since the blue line is starting from point A, the blue line is starting from point A, so I will use the coordinates of A. I will put one and three, and I need to find the slope, the slope of the blue line, but I cannot. So what can I do? Uh -huh. I know that the blue line is perpendicular on the pink line because I'm talking about the altitude. Since they are perpendicular, so their slope are negative one. So M2 will be negative one over M1. So I need to find the slope of the pink line. Then I will divide negative one over the slope of M1 in order to find M2. After this step, after I have M2, I will evaluate it now, or I'll substitute it in my equation in order to find the final equation, which is the last one here. After I find it, I will evaluate in the equation to find Y. And the points will be at point two, four. Is it clear? Yes, yes miss. miss. Let's solve now, but it's a three. Do you have any question here? Teacher? Yes, Yara. I didn't understand very much. Type. See, Maybe. I will solve, but it's a three. Okay, I will repeat the same okay. steps. Try to focus. Okay. Now, but it's a three. A triangle D, E, F. D is at point one, two. And E is at point one, six. And F is at point four, two. So the coordinates of D here is one, two. Of E is one six and of F is four two. Then now let's connect between these three lines. Like this. So this is my now. This is now my triangle. D E F. Now what did I need to find? I need to find the ortho center of the triangle. The ortho center, as we said before, it is an and it is an line. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. The ortho center is a point of concurrency of, of the points of the altitudes where they are intersecting. In order to find the altitudes, I need to draw a line starting from the vertex perpendicular on the opposite side. Starting from the vertex perpendicular on the opposite side. Now, it is here. Sorry. Mm, suppose that is maybe here. Perpendicular or here or here. I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be perpendicular. I don't know its coordinates. And the last one. It is like this. So I need them now to intersect. So let's put this one outside here.
And the first one. Slide that status. And the probability is like this. And that since I cannot draw a perpendicular line exactly, so, and maybe it's here, it's here, I don't know. Okay, so it comes like, here, okay. So inshallah, it's like this. So here now, what did I do? I did, I, uh, what I did, sorry, I draw now three lines starting from the vertex perpendicular on the opposite sides. And these points, they are intersecting at a point here. This point will be the ortho center of the line. Okay? Okay. Yes. Now from here, from the line, what did you see? You see that the vertical line, this is the vertical line, where it's, it's got the x-axis at which point? T. At one. At, at one, bravo. And the y? At two. At two. So this one is so easy. So the ortho center now is at point one, two. Let's have now another example that have the same exam the same steps as got it as, as problem three. Okay, I will give you now here the example that we have a triangle. Okay, the triangle has a three points. Point D at point negative two, uh, three negative two. Point uh, E at point um, five, no, sorry. This point here is at point. Five, six. And E at point. D, E, F, and F, sorry, at point nine, negative two. So here now, these are the three lines, or the three points of the triangle. Point D, at three, negative two. So I need here to continue it as negative one and negative two. So at point three, negative two, I have point D. I have five, six, This is point E and nine, negative two, I have point F. So then now I need to connect between these three lines. Like this. This is now my triangle here. So these are the coordinates of the lines. This is, let's rewrite re re them. E is at point five, six. E is at point uh, three, negative two. And F is at point nine, negative two.
now by now is it clear yes ma yes okay now then i need now to draw three lines starting from d perpendicular on the opposite side so it will be here and the second one it will be here and the, the third one let's draw this one first in order to be perpendicular I try to be per to be it perpendicular in the line like this, inshallah. And the last one, it's not good. Perpendicular on it. And the last one, it's supposed to be like this. Okay. Now these are the altitudes that I draw them. So after I draw the altitude, this will be now my ortho center. But in order to find it now, look at me. We have now X, our point E, sorry. Since point E is a vertical line from E, we have a vertical line that cuts the X axis at point five. So that means the value of X will be five. E is cut the x axis at point 5. So the value of x will be 5. Is it right? Yes. Five. What did I need to find? I need to find y. I will repeat. In order to find y, I need the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I need x, y, u, m. Right. Hello, which coordinates I want to use? D or E or F? D. Bravo, D. Because my line, my this line here, that's I draw it. I will. I want to use D. So 3, 3 is here, and negative 2 is here. What do I need to find now? The slope. The slope, bravo. I need to find the slope in order to find my equation. So which slope? The slope of the yellow line, which is M1. But since I cannot find it, I will use the slope of this, of the, this line here, M2. And since they are perpendicular, so M1 times M2 is negative 1. So after I find the slope of M2, I divide it by M1, uh, sorry. In order to find M1, I will divide negative 1 over M2. So what did I need to find now? I need to find M2. How can I find M2? Difference of the y over difference of x. Where's the value of y? 6 and negative 2. 6 and negative 2. So I will say 6 minus negative 2. The difference of y over the difference of x. 5 minus 9. So 6 minus negative 2, what is the answer? 6 plus 2? 8. 8. 8. Negative 8. Over. 5 minus 9? 4. Negative 4. Negative 4. So what is the value of M2? Negative 2. Negative, negative 2. Negative 2. Bravo. But what did I need to find? I need to find M1. Now back here, M1 will be negative 1 
over M2. What's the value of M2 now? We found it as negative, negative two. two. Negative two. So M1 yeah. will be? Negative one. Half. Negative one. Half. One over two. One over two, bravo. So the value of the slope now is half. I will put it here. And now I have my equation. So y plus two is half, no, he didn't forget to distribute. Half x minus three, or, uh, half x minus three over two. Then minus two, minus two. So y will be half x minus three over two minus two. So this two is over one. Let's now write them have the same denominator. So y will be half x minus three over two minus four over two. So they are like, Mm. Let's continue here. Oh, I keep trying to tell you something. Okay. It's not in multiply. Yeah, yeah I will do a short two. step. Halas, will okay. step. Hala here, halas, y plus two is half x minus 3. Now what's the value of x? Negative 2. No, from here. Yeah, what's uh, the value of? 5. 5. 5, bravo. So I will evaluate now x with 5. So 5 minus 3 times two. half. Bravo, 2 times half 1 equals 1y plus 2. So y will be negative one. So the coordinates of the orthocenter will be five, negative one. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. What is the value of M1 and M2? And teacher, you know, from where you brought five, Hello, five. Look here. Hello, since the line. Let's just wait a second. Before I. Um, um, okay, wait a minute, please. Let's clear this one here. Oh, Mrs. Yes, I understand from where you brought five. Yes, it's the coordinate of the orthocenter, center, correct? Yes, bravo. Are you? That's it. Because here the value of y is, uh, of x is five, I will use it in, in order to evaluate in my equation. Here. This is here the orthocenter, 5y. So after we will have from where we have 5, we know. From here, let's cut the x axis at 5. So what did I need? I need to find y. I will use the linear equation. After I use it now, I will evaluate in the law equation that I have it here. So 5 and the value of y is negative 1. So or the orthocenter will be 5, negative 1. Is it clear? But still, I have a problem in the equation. I need to find the m and x. The m. Hello. Hello. m in order to find m, you need to remember that. I cannot find it. But I will use the line that is perpendicular on it. That line, since I'm starting with point D, OK, so that line, Hello, imagine now this is my triangle here. Okay, hello. This line, the first one, it will be like this. The second one, it will be like this. And the third one, it will be like this. Approximately, they are like this. Hello, now, after this is our, now the attitudes. Hello, this line is cut the x axis at 0.4.5. So it means. The x-axis is 4, 4, 5. Now, what do I need to find? I need to find y, but I cannot. 
because it's not there's an, there's an, no, there isn't a line that is cut the y-axis. So what can I do? I need an equation. To find the equation, I will set. I, I need this one. Oh, this is the, the line. I want to use it. This line that I want to use it, it has a, 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 a coordinates that they are as an